We'll begin by looking back at the last significant earthquake uptick, starting with a bit from the morning news on March 29th. Southern negative coronal hold departing and a positive opening coming in. You will remember how the southern opening lost most of its quake-making power as it faced Earth, but no such thing is taking place to the north. Force remains, and near-space field portal influence has switched to positive already. It was only a few hours later that the earthquakes began. The uptick was so on point and significant that it became the subject of a deeper look episode, episode 31 from April 2nd. Late on March 29th, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck Papua New Guinea. Hours later, early on the 30th, twin 6 magnitude quakes struck Tonga. This was the last significant earthquake uptick. While some smaller six-pointers struck in the days that followed, a calmer period has set in, and in the last seven days we've had no six-magnitude earthquakes. This is a good time to bring up the most important foundation of the daily earthquake tracking. Over the long run, there will be three six-magnitude earthquakes per week. That's the average according to the USGS. However, most weeks have either less than two or more than four, and the ebb and flow of those events is what we track. So that being said, even with the USGS downgrades, going seven days without a six magnitude earthquake is a bit of a drought. Remember that three per week average is based on their numbers in the first place. These droughts can last for a while, as we've seen in past years, up to a month. So what makes me think that this one is about to come to an end? All the seismic factors are going to be in play, starting with the primary, coronal holes coming in north and south, just moderate force thus far, but we'll also likely see a sector boundary in the solar wind shortly, another good signal. At this time, Mercury is just about conjoined with the Sun. We have been seeing this come together for days now, and by the time you see this video, it may have already happened. But after that, we will be entering the geocentric opposition of Venus and Saturn a few days later, along with another one involving the Sun as Mercury and Mars line up heliocentrically. This could keep solar activity going and add some space energy as a cherry on top of the other factors. In fact, the uptick on the Sun began already, and back here at Earth with the impact of some CMEs that are already adding some of that space energy right now. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.